so today we've come around to Crowders Bay Park in, around the beautiful Lake Macquarie. Um, it's quite a busy active dog park. There's dogs everywhere. Well, look at that one. <laughs> Sorry, I do get distracted easy. I've seen that many different breeds of dogs today. It's been quite um, beautiful, interesting. They've all smelt the food and come over, funny enough. And so we've had a number of chats and visitors today whilst here at the park. This is Bruce who loves food like most dogs. This is the third dog I've fed, or the second and then another one. Too funny. Bruce keeps running back over to here. <laughs> Bruce is not shy. <laughs> I told Bruce to sit before and Bruce got excited and jumped up and snatched it out of my hand and got my finger a little bit. These were the things I didn't really care. It's a bit funny. Um, I have a Labrador. He's, he's like got a bottomless pit. It's a bit funny, but I love dogs. He, no, I said no, didn't I, but I, one, last bit, okay? Alright, off you go, Bruce. <laughs> and here we have another dog that's got a ball. But again, what? Someone's got food over there. Oh, never mind. <laughs> say man's best friend, no one will love you. I look forward to seeing you as much as your dog when you come home. Yeah. See you later, thank you. Crunchy. They love their chips, they do. Hey? They love their chips. Hey. Is that Aussie's right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like the crunchy ones more. Yeah, so they, yeah, yeah, no, they don't mind any of them. Yeah, dogs are a bit like that, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. No, so but, they're Irish Wolfhound and something else? Or yeah, Irish Wolfhound, Stag, and Mum. Yeah, okay, that makes uh, sense. Or Mastiff. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah. yeah, they're unusual, they're beautiful. Yeah, they're good dogs. And they, they're good dogs. Yeah, they're good dogs. There's a few dogs here actually today, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, there's always a few down here. Dog park, so. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, I like when you get to the beach, that's my favourite place to see the dogs. Yeah. So the other day I posted up to my story a little um, Australiana theme song that's basically about all the different types of um, deadly venomous creatures that we have in our lucky, beautiful country um, from snakes to jellyfish to lo lots of things, anyway. Kangaroos, you know, don't get too close, whatever, lots of things. Funny enough, um, I went swimming in the lake yesterday. I decided to sit on the lake bed and then I was picking rocks and whatever, I laid down at, on the shore in the water. Um, yeah, and I sort of went, oh, you know, the sens sensible part of me thought maybe I shouldn't do that. Well, I'm covered from head to toe in bites, like, and hairy legs, but hey, I can live with that. But I've got bites from head to toe, a bit funny. That's life. Um, I still probably would do it all over again. I had this little spot in the lake all to myself. It was beautiful. Um, in those moments, you know, I was there probably half an hour. Um, but yeah, shit happens. And um, still get out amongst it, I say. Yeah, so I'll be glad when I go to sleep. Hopefully I'll stop itching, scratching. <laughs> Although that doesn't necessarily work. You wake, you wake up and you, you sleep and you get, you like, you use your heel, <laughs> you know, you end up drawing blood and you wake up and go, oh shit, I must have had a scratch through the night, but yeah, too funny. It's all part of um, the environment you live in, so yeah, I'm trying not to scratch as we speak. Beautiful lucky country though, don't, don't ever let that stop you people from coming to Australia, mate. Oi, oi, oi. Hey, how's everybody doing? Hope you're all having a great day. Hope you're prepared for Christmas. So a little update on my story. I have to evacuate where I'm living. I'm being sent to a motel. Um, two people that I live with and one of the children have now got COVID. Um, two are currently in hospital, one's been released. So for the good of my health, um, I guess it's probably a little bit late in the day. We share the same amenities um, contact. I've had some minimal contact um, but yeah, I'm off to a motel today. 
um, to isolate for the next five days or so. I did a COVID test yesterday, pretty certain it's going to come back positive. I was reluctant to get the vaccine, as anybody that watches my program knows. Um, yeah, um, I did two episodes on COVID. Um, I was reluctant to get the vaccine and my youngest daughter said she wouldn't see me until I got the vaccine. I'm autoimmune. I've got two specialists. I've been sick since I was a child. But yeah, I was reluctant to follow that through. Well, thank God I got the vaccine, my second vaccine dose uh, two weeks ago this Thursday. So as a girlfriend, dear friend of mine, Miranda said that um, because you're recently vaccinated, you'll have a high FSC. So I'm hoping that to be the case. It could be asymptomatic and not... Um, end up with any symptoms let's hope so um yeah christmas has taken a bit of a turn for me but i'm still staying positive you know there's some things in life you have no control of this happens to be one of those things um can't have the air con here air con on here where i'm living for obvious reasons so i'm the positive i'm taking out of this i'm menopausal i'm going to a motel i'll be able to use the air con in my room whereas it's ducted here um i'm still breathing one foot in front of the other and little big old me. Merry Christmas. Like and, and subscribe to our program and um, go and visit our store. Little big old me. Dot com. Forward, dot com forward slash store. So if you've got a story that you'd like to share with our program, YouTube and with the world, please contact us or myself at Sandra at little big old me dot com.